Well, there's this nonsense that the Republicans don't like deficits and the Democrats do. But if you go over historically, Reagan ran big deficits, Bush ran big deficits, and Clinton did the opposite. So clearly, if they can get what they want, tax cuts, infrastructure spending, uh, there may be people saying, oh, the deficits are bad, but I don't think it'll really stand in the way. But, but will it be a good thing or a bad thing for the U.S.? I mean, does spending that boosts deficit at a point when we've already got very high levels of debt to GDP, is that going to backfire on the U.S. economy? Well, I don't think anybody argues about the infrastructure spending because that helps with growth in the long run and eventually pays for itself. The tax cuts, I think, are much more debatable. I don't know what the stimulus effect is going to be. It's not really very good for inequality. I personally think the Bush tax cuts were already a mistake, even though the Reagan tax cuts were a good idea. So, I mean, is, is your bottom line that austerity is sort of out the window that used to be in vogue? Now it's all about stimulus, and this is a positive thing for the global economy? Oh, goodness. If President <laughs> Obama had said to the Republicans, wait a second, forget about my spending priorities, let's do tax cuts, you would have got the deal done in a moment, and that's sort of what we're going to see. I think the tax cuts are not such a good thing, but I do think the infrastructure spending, the deregulation, is going to provide a growth boost in the short run. Ken, let's talk about uh, some of the more geopolitical themes uh, of this week here at Davos. Of course, President Xi Jinping speaking as we, uh, as we are speaking as well. Do you think China is going to become not just the geopolitical leader of the Asian region, but the rest of the world as well, given Trump's desire to sort of step back from world affairs? Well, that's going to be the long run ambition. I don't think that's going to happen overnight. But clearly, uh, if the U.S. steps back, that creates a void, and China happily steps in. And it's really quite remarkable having the Chinese president come. That's never happened. He saw an opportunity. He seized it. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.